Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that all the bell notification in that way you won't miss any time I publish a new video. Also to mention I started a new YouTube channel or of course videos too. So be sure to go across there, check it out and of course don't forget to subscribe over on that end as well. Alright, so what are we going to be making today? Well, today Now guys, I am using white rice flour. Of course, you can use any type of flour that you prefer. Um, but if you want your veggie pancakes to be uh, crunchy, then the white rice flour will give it uh, more of a crunch. But of course, if you want to use, um, for those of you who are not gluten-free, you can just use regular flour. And for those of you who are gluten-free, well, you can just use regular gluten-free flour. Now I'm adding more flour here because I found that it was um, a little bit too wet and I needed to you know, give it some more body. So that's why I decided to add more flour to, to the mix. Okay guys, so I would suggest that you either freeze these first before you cook them. Um, that is to ensure that it doesn't stick to your pan. So of course if you're using a non-stick pan then that um, would not apply to you. But if you're not using a non-stick pan and you want to ensure that it doesn't stick to your pan then I would suggest that you freeze it first. or Another option, like what I did here, is that I'm using a stainless steel pan, but in order to create a sort of a non-stick surface, um, what I did is that I, I heated up the pan really hot for about two minutes, and then I put a little bit of oil in it, and then I turned off the stove, and I swirled the oil around, and then I used a paper towel to, to wipe off the the um some of the oil um, i will leave a link in the description on a video that i did on how i how to create a non-stick surface for a stainless steel pan um, and that's what i had to do here because the first time that i did try to to cook them um, it was sticking because i did not go through that process in you know creating that sort of non-stick surface on my stainless steel pan but like i said if you're using a non-stick pan then you wouldn't have that issue or the other option is as i mentioned before you can freeze it first and then attempt to to cook it mm -hmm. 